Hey guys, how's it going? Steve. Um, I'm going to show you how to go about making a brush. It's more or less like a feathered blending brush in Illustrator. I uh, used it in the design of uh, the devil in this candy machine. I'm just going to quickly show you how to go about doing it. It is a previous tutorial I did, a tutorial I did a long time ago, but I really don't think it got looked at. It's overlooked for what it can do, which is actually really cool. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, we're going to go about making a brush. And you're just gonna make a circle, click it, control C, control F, paste in the front, make the circle a little bit bigger, and control shift left bracket, drop it in back, and bring the opacity down to zero. Now you're gonna select both of those, go to object, blend, blend options, specified steps, and we'll go about 30. Then Control Alt B, blend them together, and it comes out like this. Now I've already got all my set. I made an actual white set and a black set, but just to throw it on there, which it won't let me because I already had that locked in. But the fact that you'll get is, for instance, using this black one here, it actually adds more of a highlight. I mean, you can actually do your highlights as solids. And then go over them with a brush. Hold oh, on a second. Take a. And just makes it pop a little bit more. And I mean, it gives you more or less of an option that you don't, don't normally see in Illustrator, such as a Photoshop brush. Like I said, it's just a quick and easy tip to do. I mean, just to help improve uh, your shading and so forth in your designs. I hope this helps, and have a good one.